Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm James Rose, you probably know that by now, and we're new four. We're fighting the French, they're running away. Can I catch them here? I cannot. I'm three days out. We might be able to catch these guys though, and the French aren't going to want to take that fight. So if we wait just a few days for his vast... Actually no, because if we kill those guys that will change the balance of power between him and his vassals, and I want his vassals to be angry with him. So no, we're not going to take that fight. They can do what they want. We can't catch the French, unfortunately. So we will just go and raid this province for a bit of cash. Because we're already in debt. Those dirty French have made us use all of our money. And we should take it back. Oh. Well, they ballsed up. Because I can get here now and I can get there before the end of the month when they get a morale tick as well. So we are going to engage them with superior morale. And that's a French stack wipe. Lovely. Please tell me you're disloyal now. Or oh, still, he's still not quite disloyal. It's a very loyal little vassal here. You know what? I, I appreciate his loyalty to his master, and we'll leave him alone. Oh, unfortunately, I spent because I I've just re reloaded the game. Not reloaded the game since last session, but loaded the game up because it's a new day for me. Um, the English have decided, in their limited wisdom, to peace out the French. It looks like they've only lost Maine, so the French haven't gained too much from this. That is 16 dev, but they're about to lose a lot more to us. So, as I was saying at the end of last session, my current intention is to peace out Provence first. And then once Provence is out of the war, we will try and take the territory we want from France. Might as well sit here and take this. What we can do though, because we are incredibly low on manpower. We we'll take off all but just over a thousand men. Oh, wrong way around. There we go. Leave just a thousand men there. So at the end of the month, uh, which a month tick will go by while we siege this province, we're only going to take attrition on these guys rather than our whole stack. There we go. Why are you still taking attrition here? Oh, uh, for, a, for a moment you thought there was low supply, okay. Orleans. Oh, Orleans are not happy. They are on 70% now. You're at 60. Are you the same person yet? 60. 60 and just you? Oh no, you're disloyal now as well. I think all their vassals are quite disloyal now. I think the French are going to struggle to... Get out of this one. Um, I will let them move up here. And then we'll jump on there. There we go. So what I do want to do is get out Provence. So we need, we're going to need to take a city from him. We're going to need those men there to take that. And then we're going to want some men on here. Because Lorraine's war score will also count towards Provence. Or it should do because they are his subject. We want some men on there. And now, unfortunately, France has a siege specialist with three siege pips on Paris right now. So chances are we will not be able to out-siege him here. Provence also won't even wipe peace right now. Never mind actually breaking his alliance with the French, which is what I would like. We will take that for some innovativeness. We need to innovate, guys. Innovation is the way forward. It'd be nice... Ah, so you can see here, actually. We now can see quite clearly when France or any AI or anyone, really, is murking up. Because mercs always stay in their full stack. So you can see there's a free company stack here. So we know that is... Oh, I said I don't want to marry Austria, didn't I? We're not going to marry him. Um, so we know that France has 6,000 mercenaries there. And those 6,000 make up, I would say, if you include the cavalry, just over half still of... Oh, that was the war goal, wasn't it? I need that. Oh, I can take it back in a minute. I think we should get all of our ticking war score back if I take it. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to leave a single unit on each of these so that we don't lose our siege progress. And we need to go stop them taking Paris back. Quickly just walk into there to kill that, and then we'll go up to Paris. Please don't take it. Thank God. 
And cross fingers, a little bit of luck. We should get there before the next tick, depending on this battle. Um, I don't want to arrive there before Orleans. Orleans leaves on the 18th. I arrive... I can't see. On the 20th, so that's fine. Now, don't you dare take this just before I get there. Okay, he gave up. Excellent. And that's a stack wipe. Lovely. What a lovely little war this has turned out to be. We have pushed ourselves dry. We're completely out of manpower. My army's tiny. And I'm running out of money. But we get some extra innovativeness, which is nice. Um, yes, uh, losing, being on one, minus one prestige is okay. A little bit of local unrest is fine. One in innovativeness is not a lot now, but as you go forward, if you can build it up, it does add up to be quite nice. So we want you guys there. Then we want them there. We'll leave these guys here to resiege the war goal. I should maybe have made the war goal Paris or another fort so we could more easily hold on to it. I think we should get back all our ticking war score when I tell you this. Find out how much is that going to go up by. That went up by 9, that's okay. How much does it say I have? War goal control plus 8. So yeah, we got our ticking war score back for that. And we might as well loot it while we're here. Oh no, he took Nevers. How rude of him. How did he even... When did he take that? Was I just not paying attention? I guess I wasn't paying attention. Also, why is this high? France is making gains. Yes, of course he is. Sure. Uh, we do now have one of Provence's forts. As I said, Provence has currently been excommunicated, so we want to get back into war with him as soon as possible. So what we will do is just annul his alliance with France... Also annul it with Milan. You can keep it with Siena. Siena was not remotely a threat to us. Um, and that should give us maybe a six, seven year truce. That gives us a seven year truce. That's fine. That gives us time to get our money back. And some of our troops. Everyone come over here. Okay, Francis realized he's not making gains now. That was stupid of him to even consider it. Um, we could potentially, if I were to hold this war for longer, we could potentially get improved relations up with all these guys and not take a coalition for taking additional territory here. I don't think it's worth doing. Um, what we do want to do is just push France as far as possible, take all of his money, things like that. Papal State has attacked Provence. Yeah, Provence is just going to be stuck in war up until... We can attack him now. And unfortunately, we just lost the excommunicated ruler. Bugger. So. Uh, yeah, we just need to keep pushing France back a little bit at a time here. We'll avoid his vassals as much as possible. I am dead. There goes our glorious leader. Uh, he was our general as well as our 555. I wonder if Austria will push the Burgundian inheritance with me having allied him. Interesting to consider. I may wish to switch my alliance to someone like Castile, which I could do without too much issue. Because if I'm allied to Castile, that may put off Austria attacking me. In fact, who doesn't like Austria? The Ottomans. Probably not going to ally me. Savoy and Denmark are not going to be too... Oh, no. Denmark could be alright. Depends if he's annoyed Switzerland or not. Oh, sorry, Sweden. Sweden is okay. <laughs> It'd be nice if uh, yeah, France is an ally. France doesn't hate me, but I did rival him. They still... Oh, no. They will give me that territory, I think, won't they? Can I not... Uh, uh, sh I'm just wondering... If Shift right mouse button. There we go. That sets it to zero. Nice. Okay, so they will give us quite a lot. It's not quite that much. Is there... Right mouse button to remove large increments. Shift left mouse button to set as much as they are willing to accept. So there's no way to set... Wait, sorry. Shift left mouse. No. Am I reading this wrong? Shift and left mouse button to add as much as they are willing to accept. 
They're definitely not willing to accept that paradox. Come on, paradox. You need to math better. Oh, I'm still have these guys attached to me. Stop attaching to me. You're causing me attrition. Only men to France have now. France themselves have no men. I'm guessing they've run out of money and manpower at this point. I don't suppose I can see if they have potentially bankrupted themselves. Um, they should have a high income, so that should make it them easy enough to find. France have four ducats. They have four ducats and no manpower. So there's not a lot they can do right now. Now this is a very interesting part of the game now because you can properly completely destroy a country like we've done here before the french would just keep coming at us until the until we piece them out but now they l literally can't we've taken away every way they have of fighting us and i'm gonna sit and loot these we could maybe turn some of our forts off, but that would be a little bit dangerous. If we can just take this fort, then they'll probably give me all of their money. And... The territory we want. That would be the appropriate time to piece them out. All of you should still be disloyal. They'll probably become loyal again when France gets their army back, which is unfortunate. But at least they are fairly on the edge about it all now. The shame that England didn't keep pushing it. Because obviously England right now could be sieging up a bunch of French territory. They could take some of the land down here and that would weaken France. But alas, that was not to be. I keep clicking on this to look at the estate things to choose. But it's not there anymore. Not the ones I'm looking for anyway. Uh, do I have cause anywhere? I don't, do I? No. Just claims. Come on, Holland. Finish seizing. Sieging. You can do it. Guys, can you stop chasing my vassal nevers, please? Go on, finish sieging. You can do it. Well, we could possibly... Oh, Portugal. What a lovely fellow. Thank you, Portugal. That was very nice of you. The Portugal also wants to see the downfall of France. If only Portugal could have given me something that reduces aggressive expansion instead. There we go. So. Take all of their money. We can take... But can we quite take war reps? Am I a little bit off? So, I can take 500 ducats... 10% um, of their income for 10 years and these territories. I think that is fine to peace out with. There won't be a coalition because both Provence and France have uh, treaties with us or um, truces. That's the word. So yeah, I think we are good there. I almost have enough admin to actually call the land as well. Guys have a wander back over here. What we can now do is pay off that debt. We can stop paying our men. Uh, we can start rooting out corruption, and we can turn the forts off. Just a couple months away from being able to call the last one. Uh, what I will start doing now... Or oh, something we will be doing. We need to improve relations with Nevers so I can get rid of them. Because I would like an alliance with Castile, but I, if I can keep my alliance with Austria, I think that might be worth doing. Uh, if, however, if we annex Nevers, then we won't have to get rid of Austria. The Renaissance. Uh, I won't read all that out. I'm sure I've read it out in a previous thing. Um, campaign. We're now great power. Mercenary companies. Sure. So are, we, are we better than France? Oh, we're not better than France. How disappointing. France do still have more de development than us. So we do need to continue taking the territory. Um, sure. Take an artist. 
Now, I would like these territories from Provence. What could potentially happen is if someone else attacks Provence and they take Anjou, if Provence could somehow end up with just these two territories, we could take these and then have Lorraine become our subject. That'd be nice. Uh, we do have some money, so we will spend that here and here and here. It's nice to have a stockpile of money, but having the additional ducket a month income we just got from that is definitely worth it, uh, worth it better in the long run. Worth more in the long run. Words. Words are hard. Uh, what's this? So, nobility dislikes us. We lose some uh, admin power or we lose a bit of prestige. We do have the prestige to spare. Um, the nobility liking us. I don't know... Exactly how this works now, honestly. Let's see. Does this give us any better bonuses? It does. Land modifier down. Okay, so we're saving a bit of money for a while by giving up that prestige. That's okay. I could pay off your debt. Does that give you... No, it doesn't give you more opinion of me. I was hoping it would. Uh, we're still a long time away before we can annex Flanders, Brabant, and Holland, so there's no need to do anything with them. Uh, <laughs> Flanders over there is having issues with rebels. We might need to go and kill them for him at some point. Okay, so we have three advisors advising the young Charles I. Charles, unfortunately, he knows a little bit about writing. He can't speak for shit. Like, well, every time he opens his mouth, just a huge pile of shit comes out. Uh, he is not, he's not too bad in a fist fight, though. Uh, if he gets into a bar fight, he usually wins. Uh, yep, definitely want that. Military bonuses all the way. Now, Nevers, if you can just like me a bit more, that'd be great. I'm a great power, can I throw money at you? I have no diplomats. Uh, it might not be worth it. Probably better just to wait for their relation to be high enough at this point. Ooh, that might be worth doing. So I mean, we could get rid of them quicker. No, because that's going to hurt our, their opinion of us. Well, yeah, we'll just give up our claim in that case. It doesn't matter too much if we have the claim there. I, I don't know if claims reduce the cost of annexation. It might do. But I might have just traded away a few dip points. Uh, we'll keep 100 ducats just so we have a bit of a stockpile of cash. So we actually have a lot more men than it looks like we do. Because it looks like I've got not quite 2,000 manpower and 15k here. But I've actually got another 6, another 6, and another 6. So that's 18,000 men here, plus 3,000 from Nevers. So we actually are quite a powerful nation here. Despite what it may appear at a glance. Uh, let's speed the game up a bit, because I'm more waiting for our truce with Provence to be up now. So we've got 5 years to wait for that. Career controller. Institution spread and cost. You picked the best thing there. Well done, Mr. Pope man. You know how to pick things. So we just need to wait for it to spread. The institution should spread to the lowlands fairly quickly, and as there are subjects, that should then spread to us quickly as well. Another reason... Oh, there we go. We can annex nevers. Another reason to have a stockpile of cash. We're going to need that cash in order to... Oh, I can't annex them yet. I thought I could annex them now. I need to wait till the end of next year. Or, yeah, the end of this year, beginning of next year. We'll improve relations a little bit more with them then. Castile, I would not mind having a marriage with. Castile is getting beaten up by Aragon, though. That's unfortunate. It looks like he probably attacked... Oh, he supported Sus in the War for Independence, which got him into war with Morocco. And then, I'm guessing Aragon then declared on him. No, Castilian Conquest. So he, he's, in, he's the aggressor on both sides. Castile, what are you doing? A good job I'm going to kill France for you, isn't it? Otherwise, we'd end up with a big blue bob here. Now, I have seen a lot of people on Reddit saying that Imperial Authority is basically broken now. And Austria pretty much always ends up forming the HRE if you don't get involved yourself. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see. I'm going to put my own vote in here. 
I can see he has already passed one reform. I think that means he's passed anyway, the little golden portrait. If Austria actually forms the HRE, while I will be slightly impressed, it is, if it's happening most games without player intervention, that is possibly a little bit broken. Okay, there we go. Sorting Nevers out now. Hopefully it won't take too long. Now, when is our truce with France up? Another thing we might want to look at doing, though I don't have French separatists, lovely. Turn them on. I'll just turn this fort on in case they somehow end up there. Um, clergy loyalty for dip points. I do need the dip points now because we're currently getting rid of nevers. We could take the loyalty hit. I don't think going below 40 matters now. Um, Lundberg gets her or Luxembourg gets heresy. Not a huge deal and it only lasts for five years. I think that's okay. We'll ignore the heresy in this case. Yeah, so what I'm going to do with this diplomat so he's not being lazy. I'm going to stick him on outraged countries. Okay, he's chosen the worst one to start with because I want to attack Provence again. So we won't, do, we won't stick him on that. Um, let's go with England. I can't stop joining a coalition because he hates me too much already. We'll pick just someone nearby like the Platinum and improve relations with them. We do also need ourselves a general. That guy is not bad. He's got two shock and two siege. He is an okay general for this time period. France apparently have no heir. How old is he? You're 51. What happens when you die? A noble from House Stuart. So <laughs> Scotland could end up ruling over France. That'd be interesting. Uh, it looks like Aragon did take a little bit of Castile. We could ally Castile if I still want to, once we've got rid of Nevers. Castile would probably be our strongest potential ally. Ah, yes, the Monopolies. So we could continue doing this. Or we'll, what we'll not now do. Okay, so we have to revoke the privilege, otherwise we lose all of our income from it. So I could revoke that now, I believe. Because you need to have a loyalty higher than the influence in order for you to be able to revoke these. That will put their loyalty down by 20. I mean, there's no need for me to revoke it right now, but it's just interesting looking at it. We will extend those monopolies. Because that was also the one for the merchants. Hey! Well done, Flanders. You killed your rebels. Now, we do need... We can get another boat. Another boat will potentially make us a little bit more money. So I do need to save money. How much is it going to cost us to embrace an institution, roughly? We're looking at... What's that? A couple hundred? It's actually not going to cost us that much. We're not a huge country yet, so that does make sense. Um, Get rid of you. Akin, you were angry at me, right? Not quite, but close enough. There are the Frenchies. Now, apparently rebels in this patch, I believe, have been nerfed, which is really good, because one of the things I hated... In, I, I hated... One of the things I did dislike about the game was rebel management, and how you would have a province like this, and 30,000 rebels would spawn out of it, and you're like, how can there even be 30,000 people in that province who care? Like my, the, When you had rebels spawning with armies larger than you could actually field yourself, that was a bit ridiculous. More innovation. Everyone will look to Burgundy for the future. Um, what is innovation? I believe innovation is men at arms. Actually, no. I believe being on the having offensive pips is generally better. I'm honestly not sure how the math works out with that, but I believe having offensive pips is better, so I will pick that here. You have no air. I kind of want to marry you now. I could totally marry a Austria right now. Actually, marrying you would be even better. 
I sh I'm tempted to go over my Diplo limit just to see if I can get on your throne. If we get Castile, that'd be amazing. Go on then, we'll go, we'll go over our Diplo limit just for a bit. If, how, when are you going to be done? You're done in April 1457, so a bit over a year. The chances of him dying in the next year is fairly low in the greater scheme of things. So I will wait until we have annexed Nevers, and then I'll look at our Lion Castile. What do we need? Money. Money is not as big an issue. I think manpower is actually more valuable now. Because money equals manpower, and you could, you could do some math to figure out which is worth more 15% or 10%. But... If I had to guess, I'd say 15% manpower is quite likely worth more now. So I'm going to take that. Uh, we could actually course some this territory. I think we're going to do that. So we're going to make these full cores because that makes them more valuable to us. And um, these are rich provinces. How is the institution spreading? Flanders nearly has it. They pretty, obviously it starts in Italy, the Renaissance, but then it virtually almost comes up, almost always ends up here next. Because of the high development in some of the provinces in the lowlands. Um, I don't really want to lose dip points right now. I guess we'll have to take a prestige hit. It will hurt our relations with these guys a bit, but not really. Oh yeah, we have defensive edict on still. That's wasting money. Completely forgot about that. How long till we can have some fisticuffs with you? October next year. Lovely. So that means I can... Okay, the 51-year-old uh, Juan here has managed to birth a kid, unfortunately. Is there anyone else that might be worth marrying? Austria really is probably a bit young still. He's only in his 40s. If we got a P1 Byzantium, that would be interesting. Byzantium is his own PU though, so I don't think I would be able to just get it outright. I'd have to force it, and I'm no there's no way I'm sending troops down there. The other option is possibly France, but France haters. Is, is anyone going to PU you? No, you're just going to get a house steal on your throne, which we did see before. Having I mean, Scotland rule over France is silly and the game would be amusing. Oh, look at that. Glorious. We lost the excommunicated ruler before, but the papal state have just excommunicated Provence again. Who are they allied to? They have one ally. They do have their independence guaranteed by France. However, France would not join them right now, mostly due to the absolutely astronomical debt we put them in during the last war. Orleans and France apparently both embraced the Renaissance just then. Well, that's surprising. Oh, they got yeah, because Paris is a high dev province, so they got it in Paris and obviously Orleans as well. Should be up here momentarily. Nevers goes next month, so that'll give us a new dip slot. Lovely. We did just lose a bunch of uh, diplomatic reputation because we annexed them, but I don't think that's a big deal. Get some more claims as well. We won't be pressing them anytime soon because those are down here and those are in the HRE. I don't quite fancy going to all of Austria right now. You guys can't be moved yet. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do? Oh, it looks like uh, Francis started annexing some of his vassals as well. So we do need to be ready for war with you. When is our truce run out? October. So I could actually just turn my army on now. Uh, give, it only takes a few months for morale to go up. But having it ready now would not be an issue. We're only losing a few ducats. And it means we can attack them as soon as possible. What we are going to have to do with this war is we're going to have to sit in it a bit longer than we might otherwise have wanted to. Because I'm going to need to do a lot of improving relations with these miners to stop a coalition forming. Um, is there anyone good for... Okay, no. Is there anyone better than Castile I can get an alliance with? 
That's the important question here. There aren't many nations stronger than Castile early on. I can get alliance with Byzantium. Look at that. Uh, is there anyone I'm just failing with that's important? I don't think so, no. Now, I think our best option here is to ally Castile. That is a lovely alliance for us. Very strong defensive ally. And then as soon as... Oh, no, I don't want to marry him. We want to, we, the problem with marriages is it ties you into a diplomatic relationship with them. When you marry a when you marry another nation, that marriage only goes away when the proposer dies. So if I were to have accepted that, we would be stuck in marriage with them until Yuan here died. So if I wanted to break my alliance, I'd still be ha they'd still be taking up a diplomatic relation slot. There we go. Hey, France is in the Renaissance. Well done, France. France will not be defending Provence here. Setin up here will defend them. So we need to ignore Setin because he's not going to achieve anything. Um, more importantly, I believe these territories belong to me. Our, ally, our enemies have 17,000 men. And we have 36. So I think we're good. I might not even get involved in this. My... Subjects could probably sort this. I will help. Because manpower is manpower. And whether we have it or our subjects have it, doesn't matter too much. I know you should have the two siege guy. Then we'll stick four guys here. And we can probably fight this war at four speed. Because this is not going to be a particularly dangerous war. A 3-3-2 is not bad. Now, was it not this guy dying that's had that started the Burgundian inheritance issue? Oh no, he did he have a female heir? Was that it? There, my actual history, my actual knowledge of the history of this is questionable at best. Um, I don't. Know if, a 3 3 2 is technically below average. So if I were to ignore this guy, statistics dictate that I should get a better heir. So I'm going to instead take the half press diplomat. Actually a half press diplomat right now would be amazing because what I want to do with this war, we'll, we'll look at this just before we end, I want at least both of these if not this as well. Yeah these Lorraine here unfortunately is not part of the excommunicated lot. So I can't do that. Could I have him give me Lorraine? It doesn't look like I can tell him to transfer Lorraine to me, unfortunately. Um, we'll maybe develop my capital. I'm still a long way away from getting the Splendor. If we had transfer subject, then we might have been able to get him to give us Lorraine. But no, for now, I think we want to just take these two territories. Because these other two territories are a bit too much aggressive expansion for us. It's not worth it. We could also humiliate him because he is our rival. So that would give us more splendor growth, which is nice, and some power projection, which will make sure we're getting more monarch points. Because if you have over 50 power projection, you gain plus one to all the monarch points. So yeah, I think we just want these. Oh, I can't quite vassalize him. That would have been beautiful if I could just vassalize Provence. But anyway, with that having been gone through, I think we will end there. We So the, next time, we'll finish off Provence. We need to be looking at... Actually, we need to be looking at how Francis Vassal still see him. Do they, you don't hate him. You do. Okay, so only this guy is loyal right now. So France is still in a bit of a predicament in that regard. He's allied to Scotland and the Papal State. The Papal State is not weak at the start of the game here. Scotland is useless because Scotland will have to come down here on ships. So we don't need to worry about him. What I could potentially do is get some claims on England. And we could go to war of England. That might be a bit dangerous though. England I think is stronger than Scotland right now. 
Sorry, friends. But that'll be for next time. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Until then, have a very nice day. Bye-bye.